Yeah, that, that instrument is something that he really pioneered. I don't believe there's anyone, you know, since then who has taken it further than Mike did. Bob Minster continues to play it with uh, the Yellow Jackets and uh, a really good young tenor player named Dan- Dana Stevens has uh, incorporated the Iwi into his group. And he uh, recently also did, a, he's a pretty straightforward but modernist jazz player. He had a gig at the Vanguard that was recorded, but he also did some very atmospheric and adventurous kind of electronic music using the Iwi in a way that I think Mike would have appreciated, very forward-looking uh, use of that instrument. Uh, Mike, you know, he, the first time I saw him, uh, well, I should say the first time I really saw it on display in a demo sense was at his, this is before he moved to Hastings on Hudson. I went to his place on uh, Grand Street. He had a uh, loft there <clears throat> and uh, he had all his outboard gear and this Ned Steiner prototype Ewe. And he's like, check it out. I was over at his place and he's like, check this out. And he'd hit some switches and play stuff. And I'm hearing like, uh, you know, rainforest sounds and uh, pygmy chants and all kinds of, you know, natural sounds and weird, incredible uh, cascading otherworldly sounds. And he was at that point experimenting with it. But the first time I saw the application of that kind of grand scale use of the Iwi was in Herbie's Headhunters. If you remember, like Mike signed on for a tour and they they uh, they called it Herbie Hancock's Headhunters 2 featuring Michael Brecker. And they played a gig at the Beacon. They played the Greek theater in LA and around the country. And at that performance, they left the stage and Mike did his trip on the Eevee, with, which was orchestral. There were voices. And it was unbelievable, like, where's the sound coming from? Kind of a thing. And uh, that was magnificent. He later, after that, incorporated that into Paul Simon's show. Uh, and similarly, Paul and the band left the stage and gave Mike like 10 minutes to do his thing, which was absolutely astounding and sort of otherworldly and creating these sonic universes that, uh, you know, were all consuming if you're in the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Brecker.
think of the wood shedding that he did on tenor to to go that deep as he did in the tenor and then go as deep on a new instrument that he pioneered and brought to fruition with this incredible new expression on it it's it's like you almost gave two lifetimes to go that deep on each instrument and he did it man he he really made the iwi uh an orchestra onto itself mm -hmm. 